Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about windshield chip repair. If you live in a place like Calgary, over the winter they put a lot of gravel on the roads to try and keep you between the ditches. And uh, in the springtime especially, that translates into a lot of rock chips on the windshield. Now, last time I went to one of the parking lot guys for a windshield chip repair, he wanted like $60 for it. Uh, so it can get kind of costly. But the biggest problem as far as I'm concerned is that I'm busy, busy all the time. Uh, and I get a rock chip at an unscheduled time, of course, and I find it difficult to get to a glass shop or a parking lot chip repair guy uh, in reasonable amount of time. And if you leave a rock chip, a little star can turn into a crack and that can turn into a replacement windshield. Now, lots of us are driving around in cars with windshields that are not that easy to get. Like my Lincoln Mark 7, for instance, has a real hard to get windshield. Or like this Cadillac that I drive as my winter beater, um, the glass is insanely expensive. It's got all this uh, lane departure, forward collision avoidance. It's got the film for the heads up display. Uh, it's a very expensive windshield and it's very desirable to not have to replace it. So you got to get on these chips quick and the easiest way to do that is to do it yourself. That way you can do it after work, you can do it at midnight, you can do it uh, anytime that you have time and that means usually within 24 hours of actually getting the chip. So I'm going to go over some of your options, uh, talk about the tools you need and we're going to act so let's talk about what your options are for doing a home windshield chip repair. One of the easiest, uh, most readily available commercial deals is to buy a single use kit like this Permatex Bullseye kit. I've used these kits. They work pretty good. Um, they're a real handy thing to carry around with you in the vehicle so that if you're on the road and you're not going to be at your shop where you might have uh, some better tools that you can repair it right away. Um, they cost 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that and like I said it's not a bad option uh, especially for onesie twosies and especially to have with you in the vehicle on the road but I think a better option is to use the professional windshield repair stuff I so, bought this kit on Amazon it's all the same professional tools that the parking lot guys or glass shops are going to use to do your windshield repair so if you're just as skilled, you're gonna get just as good of a job. And you might end up more skilled than some of those guys. You can buy a complete kit from an outfit like Clear Shield on Amazon. I think I saw the, when I bought this, the whole kit was $4.99 and it included a little Dremel tool and a little toolbox. But I found it was actually less costly to buy it piecemeal. So you can buy all of the key parts that you need in the kit and I think I paid around $150 less doing it that way. Bought my own little toolbox. I think this is a Canadian Tire special. Uh, Canadian Tire Princess Auto, like 10 bucks. Um, I didn't need the Dremel tool. Uh, you can use a little cordless drill like this, which works fine. However, the little drill bits are very, very tiny. So you need to make sure that whatever drill you're going to use will chuck down to almost zero. Um, they're a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, and if you want the Dremel tool, I think the Dremel tool that comes with that kit sells for like 30 bucks almost anywhere. So it's still cheaper to buy it even if you buy all of that stuff. So what are you going to need as far as actual tools? You need a drill that'll chuck down small little toolbox to keep everything together, which you may say I don't need a toolbox, but honestly, it makes life a lot easier. I bought a little dental uh, pick kit from Amazon. I don't know, this is like 10, 15 bucks kit, and it's got good steel dental instruments. You can use this to pick glass shards out and to uh, uh, prepare the chip for for repair. I highly recommend you get yourself a little dental kit. That wouldn't be included in a in a clear shield windshield repair kit. I keep some pieces of a bullseye kit here. Another thing I highly recommend is that you get yourself an articulated barbecue lighter like this. Applying a little heat to the 
uh, chip while you're trying to inject the resin can often get the resin deeper into a crack or deeper into the chip and get a better repair. Um, I've seen guys use cigarette lighters. Uh, don't use a propane torch or a butane torch because it's too hot. And if you use heat like this, you have to be very sparing on the glass because you can actually melt the laminate between the two sheets of glass on your windshield. And that's not a good day. So, uh, but an articulated barbecue lighter like this, another, whatever, three pack for $9.99 anywhere <laughs> is a good idea. I keep a little, uh, I keep a little Tupperware container here for uh, using some um, uh, paint thinner to wash out the uh, bridge injector after, after I'm done with it, just to keep it clean. Um, UV curing light with a suction cup. This is available separately or it would come in a, in a complete kit. Um, something you should definitely have, especially if you're doing it inside. It's UV light that cures the resin, so you need to apply UV light to it. And this is one of the best ways to do it, and it'll suction cup up to the windshield. Um, a kit will come with uh, like a pit sealer and a thin resin. With the bullseye stuff, there's only one resin. So one of the reasons the professional stuff works a little better is because they use a thinner resin to inject in the crack and then a little bit thicker resin to seal the, the pit on the surface. So that combination of those two makes for a little bit better repair. Uh, in, a, in a kit or in a refill kit, you'll get a little pack of stuff like this. <coughs> this includes all of your uh, little plastic squares, curing strips, which you use uh, uh, over the surface of the glass after you've filled the, filled the crack. It includes um, the little drill bits, it includes O-rings for the bridge injector, it includes uh, windshield seals for the bridge injector and includes razor blades. Now, with the clear shield system, you can buy this stuff as a, as a refill. Either when you buy a fresh kit or you buy a refill, they claim it'll do 200 chips. When you do them onesie twosie as a, as a hobbyist or just on your own vehicles, because I don't do this for customers in the shop, um, just for my own fleet of vehicles. Um, you waste a little bit of resin because you're doing them one at a time and you have to put a little extra in and then wash it all out after one chip where if you were working professionally you, you may not clean up the bridge injector between repairs because you're doing repairs one after the other after the other so whatever say you get 100 repairs uh the whole thing 500 bucks let's say makes for a heck of a lot less costly than the parking lot guys or glass shops and uh, the most important thing is you can do it in a timely fashion. Okay, so that's all the stuff in a kit. Um, the final thing and the most important thing in a professional kit is the bridge injector. So this is a billet aluminum piece with a good suction cup. It's got a adjuster here, which you use to adjust the tightness against the windshield. It's got a good seal uh, to seal to the glass there. And it's got a, it's got a uh, good <coughs> O-ring uh, style injector here, which is screwed. So it allows you to do a in and out action on the glass, uh, which tends to draw the air out of the crack. It definitely works better than the syringe style disposable injector that you get with the bullseye kit. And if you live in a place like Calgary where you get, I don't know, this is my third, third chip in seven days, I think, because it's springtime and there's rocks all over and I got to drive to work. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you're doing uh, any number of chips, you're better off to use a system like this. Oh, finally, I always use a shop towel, microfiber towel like this to cover the work area when I'm, uh, when I'm working on it to make sure that I don't start curing the resin 
uh, with the light in the shop before I'm ready to cure it. So that's something all of you guys are likely to have. That's about it. That's the whole thing. Like I said, costs around 500 bucks, does up to 200 chips. Let's say it does 100, no problem. Uh, and allows you to do them in a really timely fashion. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos.